but I am going to be doing something a little different, something a little bit more silly, I guess, from what I typically do. And I've got TG here. So basically, mm -hmm. we were just talking about, like, we just wanted to do, like, a more chill video, I guess. And I just came up with this stupid alignment chart. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and explain, like, a little bit of it, a bit of it or, like, I'll let TG at least explain what black force energy means. <laughs> black air force energy now or black force energy. These are the uh, menaces to society, to be quite frank with you. These are pe they don't care. They don't care what environment they're in. They don't care if they're with their grandma, if you're with your grandma, like if they have the black force energy, it's, it's raps. They're going to do everything and anything they can to put harm on you, whether that's verbally, physically, you know, mentally, it's just like they know no limits. These are actual menaces to the societal constructs we've created. And to be honest, should be taken at a very high risk level. So, you know, black, black force energy, th 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 this is a whole different ball game. These are, these are the like monsters of the world. Yeah. And just like, to, cause I, it's an alignment chart. So you got to counter it. So I just made like a, like the bottom is just like a sketchers type beat. Like, I guess like people that like wear sketchers or like, you know, probably think that like mayonnaise is spicy or something. It's just like a really <laughs> unassuming, unconfrontational person. And then, of course, for the X axis, we've got beta and sigma. And sigma is a meme that's kind of like, it's kind of lost its meaning, but it's just like a sigma, you know, you've got to do like a thousand like fucking push ups a day. Yeah. You got to fucking. Uh, I don't even know. Like, it's it's something that I can't even describe. But you'll start to get showers, the picture as you know we what go. I'm like, all, all of like, that. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like shower with liquid nitrogen and shit. Yeah, all that <laughs> shit like that. But um, and then beta is just like I feel like everyone knows that's just kind of like the opposite, really. But I think we can start now, and I think I want to start with heavy Sasuke. So with heavy Sasuke, and I'm talking about like. Yeah, right after he kills Orochimaru. Like, I'm definitely thinking Sigma and kind of like more, it's a little bit Black Force energy. What are you thinking, TG? I, I agree. I agree. You know, he, he's, he's calm. He's calm. You know, definitely a Sigma male. On his grind, he doesn't know what a female is. I need you to understand. Two years training for Itachi. He, he's on his grind. But he is restrained, you know what I'm saying? He's saying don't kill people, you know. So a little bit into to the Black Force energy, but that pure Sigma male. He goes all the way to the right, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like if you really think about it, like when he's in part one, like when he leaves and Naruto's like, why? He's just like, you gotta, I've got to get on the Sigma grind set to kill my older brother, right? Yeah. And so he literally grinds for like two and a half years, and then <laughs> he kills his teacher, and then after that, there's nothing stopping him from getting to Itachi. Like, Karin's trying to throw her pussy at him. <laughs> and he's just, he's, like, not phased at all, right? And then, like, Dater comes out of nowhere and it's just like, fight me, bro. And Sasuke's like, yeah, I'll fight you, but you gotta tell me where Itachi is and shit like that. And then he pulls up and he fights Itachi, right? Yeah. So he's definitely, like... Strong, strong Sigma vibes, not necessarily so much uh, like Black Force. Agree. So I'm going to put them, yeah, I'm going to put them like far to the right and kind of like a little bit up. The goal is, of course, to be in the top right corner. No, like that's when you've, <laughs> that's, that's you've like ascended life. from everyone else. You've won, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you're in the top right, that's <laughs> it. You're, you're, you've won, you know what I'm saying? But continue, please. Yeah, so after that... um. We'll come back to, like, Kage Summit Sasuke later. Let's go with someone like, uh, yeah, uh, the Part 2 Shikamaru, early Part 2 Shikamaru. Um, what do you think on this, TG? Oh, man. So he's, he's he, he, listen, he's about the village, you know what I'm saying? Um, th you know, this is, like, pre-Asuma death. Uh, or is this, like, post-Asuma death? That, that, yeah. That's a good point. Post. We'll go with... Post Alstoma. We'll, we'll, we'll give like him. That arc. We'll give him. Listen, I will be honest. He's chilling with Tamari and all that. So you know, he's not fully Sigma. We we know what's up. Come on, be, <laughs> keep it a buck. And the thing is, you know, he he kind of did fail Asuma. He did deliver the cold line to Hidon. He's like, listen, man. You know, he brought out the lighter. Bink, bump, boom, gone. That's it. That light show and all of that stuff. That that's. I gotta give him. I gotta give. I feel like he's he's. He's on like the a little bit beta, but he's got some black force energy to him. You know what I'm saying? With the this man literally 
talked about he, himself being God. Like, well, what are we talking about right now? All right, like this is craziness. What? What's your thoughts? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hear you. I'm thinking like, yeah, definitely with like the God line. That's got to be one of the coldest lines in Naruto. Always like. That stupid Josh Sheen's not your god right now, I am. Yeah. And then he just, like, buries Hidan, who's not even, like... Like, I think he was supposed to, like, die eventually, but he literally just, like, buried Hidan. He's, like, stuck in the dirt for months on end. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking, like... He has some, like, Sigma qualities, but you know he's got, like, a sweet spot for Tamari. Like, I think I can put him, like, barely towards the right. Like, barely on Sigma. Yeah. And... Yeah, and like a, he's definitely got some Black Force energy going along there as well because he did kind of like just like pull up on Hidan and Kakazu and just like kind of upset win over them. So yeah, yeah. I put him like generally towards the middle of the whole like rectangle, I guess. So after that, um, let's go with just Kakashi. Oh. He's definitely like like <laughs> Kakashi is the type like. I there's got it like he's reading erotica in public while he's on the job, right? Like he's literally like during the bell test, he's just reading Jiraiya's book the entire time. Like he's a total loner. Yeah. He could probably have any he, like he could have he could probably have any girl he wants, right? He's supposed to be like beautiful on them under their mask, but he has no time for that. Yeah. The only time he really has is just to like read his erotica, right? Yeah. But like when it comes to like black forces or sketchers, like Kakashi's not really like in your face or anything. He's kind of like generally polite. So I'm thinking more sketchers. What are you thinking, TG? So the thing about it, here's the here's the thing about Kakashi. I I give him like sketchers, but a little bit to the right. Only reason is this man is Mr. Worldwide, right? Everybody knows his name. You go from the farthest villages, <laughs> everybody knows who like the copy ninja <laughs> Kakashi Hanake is, man. So I'm gonna be honest, like that that's that's some that's some Sigma level like grind work right there. Like if everybody knows who you are, come on, you kinda put in some work. I, I give him I give him sketchers, but a little bit to the right, you know what I'm saying? A, li- a little bit of Sigma energy, because he's got the clout. Come on, we gotta be honest. He's you know, he's reading sure he's reading, you know, the the er- the erotic stuff in public, but it's like when everybody knows who you are and you're that guy, like, I feel like you can get away with it, you know what I mean? But that's just me, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking slight sketchers, but I'm thinking he's a, I'm a, he's a stronger Sigma than you're laying on, just for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Like, I think agreed. he's, like, around heavy Sasuke kind of type. Yeah, for After sure. that, yeah. After that, let's go with... Do you have any strong feelings about Kiba? Oh, Kiba can go right to the left, man. Let's talk about Kiba real quick. You can take any <laughs> Kiba. No, we'll take part two Kiba, actually. Uh, beginning of Shippuden Kiba, because he lost his grind. In part one, this man, I'm going to be honest. When, when we saw him in the um, Sasuke retrieval arc, and he was talking about, I want to be Hokage, you know, to Naruto, you kind of believed him a little bit. You're like, he's got some cold. <laughs> when Shippuden comes, man, this dude's <laughs> lazling around. He's doing nothing. What What is he doing, bro? Talking the most hot. And to top it all off, right, <laughs> it's not even like he devolves from, like, this kind of complex he has. In the infinite Tsukuyomi filler, he still thinks he's, like, Hokage material. He's like, I won. Dogs, dogs for everybody. What? what? This is your boy? Nah, he, he got to go beta Skechers energy, bro. Easy, easy. I, I might give him... I don't know if he's bottom left, but he, he's going... He, he's, a bot, he's, he's in that leftmost box. Uh, bottom leftmost box for sure. Yeah, like, I, I'm definitely thinking he's in the bottom left quadrant, but, like, he's got some Black Forest type to him, because he's definitely, he's always down to, like, talk shit and, like, look tough and stuff. True, so, like, true. it's kind of, but, like, really deep down, he's he's kind of a Skechers guy, let's yeah. be honest here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely. Super Pretty Skechers. far left, pretty far left, and a little bit down, you know? Yeah, yeah. And... Speaking of Kiba, let's talk about part one, Shino. I'll let you uh, handle your boy here. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the thing about Shino, which y'all need to understand. First and foremost, his glasses are black because he blocks out the haters. That's what y'all don't understand about this man. <laughs> he can't see you. He's focused on his goals. This man, always in the back, always cold. This is a Sigma male, first and foremost. And nobody agrees. <laughs> he doesn't even talk to women. He talks to insects all day, bro. He hasn't even seen a woman... <laughs> Uh, like besides his mother in the entirety of his life so th- this man is a sigma 
This man in part one was looking for smoke with everybody. He's blowing Zaku's arms off. He's talking smack to Conqueror, like, where are you going? We got to finish our match. This is, this is, this is, a, this is Sigma energy with Black Force uh, energy, man. It's, it's just, there's no way around it. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely agreeing because it's like during the training exams and like the village is under attack and he literally just follows Conqueror. It's just like, I don't care what's going on. We're fighting because we were supposed to, right? Yeah. And he's like literally, like he's definitely, he's always cool, calm, and collected, right? Definitely on, on the grind, no time for hoes, right? And he's the same with like Zaku, where he's just like, look, you're going to lose to me. Just forfeit now or I'm, yeah. like you're going to regret it. And he ends up yeah. with no remorse at all is blowing off Zaku's arms. Yeah. So definitely like um, he's not like super, super in your face, but he's very strong uh, black force energy. Very strong Sigma male for sure. Yeah. Like, above heavy Sasuke in terms of Black Force energy. I would agree sure. with that. I would agree with that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go with Chunin, like, Chunin Exams Lee before Gara wrecked him. Like, how are you feeling about this one? Man, okay, here's the thing about Lee, man. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, this is the... Lee, Lee, Lee is a, 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 a conundrum to me, right? Because... <laughs> the thing is, he's he's got listen, he was pulling up for smoke, man. He he wanted smoke with everybody. He's looking at Neji, he's like, I wanna fight Neji. He's looking at Naruto, he's like, you can come get this work. He was folding Sasuke before the exams even started. So immense black force energy. The problem with Lee is that he's over here simping, throwing hearts with his eyes. Like, what is this about, bro? <laughs> Out here, like, this is how you know it's bad with Lee. He literally whooped Sasuke's ass. And still lost the girl. The girl still went to Sasuke after he won. How do you fold <laughs> like that? How does this happen to you? It's at least got solid Black Force energy. He's got to go beta, bro. He's he's too concerned with Sakura, even in Shippuden. It's like, man, you don't learn. You really don't. You know what I'm saying? So I say top left for me. Yeah, like the thing with Lee is like he's definitely got Black Force energy. Like he he'll literally fight anybody, but he's very he's so like respectful about yeah. it. So like it's kind of weird in that sense, and like. With the Sigma thing, like, he's definitely the type that's going to, like, wake up at 2 a.m., like, run 5,000 laps, do 5,000 push-ups, shit like that. But, like, <laughs> like with the, like, he, he's, he's kind of simping for soccer, and he's not even, like, getting any out of it. So yeah. it's kind of, he's, he's definitely beta tier, definitely fairly moderately strong black force here as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. After that, let's go with um, let's go with like part one Neji before the Naruto fight. What are you thinking for this one? Oh, this man, this man's a menace. This is this is what we call a menace. <laughs> this man, yo, he was ready to kill his own cousin. He didn't care, man. Literally, the Jonin had to get up. <laughs> this man, this man, this man. Do you see? Everybody thought part one Neji was the coldest character alive, man. Even when he pulled up and he sees Lee getting fle like flexed on by the Sound Ninja. Like the like Z uh, well, what's it what's his name like not Zaku but like the other dude like Dosu Dosu Star yeah starts Dosu. shitting himself he's like yo he's seeing through us and then like Neji's just standing there it's like dude Neji literally was talking the most smack to Naruto dude this man was literally like your dream is trash yours trash your outfit garbage <laughs> this man not nah, Black Force energy it, it, it's immense it's immense he has immense Black Force energy as far as Sigma. He's, he's pretty up there, you know, part one, you don't really see him concerned. He was ready to kill Yohinata, bro. This man, this man, he, he doesn't <laughs> see gender. That's not an issue for him. He doesn't, none of that. His Byakugan sees all, but he does not see gender. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Like, one little, like, obscure scene with Neji, like, during that, when Sasuke and Naruto are knocked out, like, for whatever reason, um, like, I think he shows up with um, Team 10, no, yeah, Team 10, or whatever, or like Shikamaru's team, and like Eno tries to like seduce him, and he's just like yeah. not phased at all. So yeah. that's like a little thing, like it shows like where his priorities, right? Like his prior his priorities in that moment is like kill Hinata in the prelims, yeah, bitch Naruto, yeah, and shit like that. So like definitely like moderate to weaker Sigma and like strong Black Force energy, very sure. strong, very strong Black Force energy, yes. yeah. Let's see. Might guy. Now, might guy. Like, this is, like, in, in, in terms of, like, the workout shit, like, this is, like, the proto 
prototypical sig- Sigma, right? Yeah. Like, he's definitely getting up, like, at 3 a.m., showering with, like, liquid nitrogen, mm-hmm. like, doing, like, a million push-ups, and, like, he's got, like, his rival in Kakashi, and, like, he's literally so competitive with Kakashi, like, he's putting his life on the line for, like, rock, paper, scissors, and shit, yeah. but, like, other than that, what are you thinking, like, in terms of the Skechers or the Black Forces? about guy is that guy, guy be kind of sus sometimes that's the thing with guy man <laughs> be, i be looking at guy man and the stuff he be doing with lee and it's like you a little <laughs> sus bro i don't i get some sketchers energy from that listen like and don't get me wrong guy guy he got smoke like it's it the thing is it's just like he he got black force energy and he has sigma energy but then he adds that susness in there like talking about like Kakashi, why do you have to be so cool? It's like, man, if you were cool, you would not be saying all that. You would respect it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's like right next to Kakashi, just literally with a little bit more Skechers energy. I feel like that that's like the, in my opinion, that's kind of the way to look at Guy. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, I just remember like after Guy like kicks, like I, I everyone forgets about this, but like right after like Itachi like puts Sasuke in a coma, Guy comes out of nowhere and kicks Jiraiya an accident, and Jiraiya is just like, no. And then after that, he has the audacity of kicking um, Jiraiya, and then right after that, he he gives Naruto like Lee's outfit and is like, check check out this drip, right? And he has the audis- audacity to pull up on Jiraiya, kick him, and then try to like change his out uh, like, uh, student's outfit. But yeah. then like Jiraiya is just like, what a goofy guy, and that's just like when I. When I think about Guy, I just think he's just, like, goofy. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, sure. yeah, strong Sigma, but he's kind of more towards the Skechers side of thing. Yeah. Um, let's see, after this, I mean, do you have any f- strong feelings about Conqueror, or you want to pass? No, nah, we'll pass. We'll pass right on that boy. <laughs> yeah, we'll pass right on him. I don't think anyone really has any strong feelings on him, honestly. I agree. Let's go with part one, Gar. How are you feel about this one? Oh my gosh, dude! This guy, this guy, <laughs> yo, listen. He only wanted smoke with everybody, dude. He tried to have smoke with an entire village, dude. I, I he literally was about to unleash his tail beast for smoke against one twelve year old child. This man, this man is crazy. First and foremost, he looked at his own squad mates. He said, "You're literally like, what? What are you to me, bro?" He, he was about to murder them, you know, <laughs> slushy them up put him in a beverage and sip on them on the way out the forest. No damage. He doesn't even have dirt on his fit. That's crazy to me. This man, this man was different. He literally, you, if you bothered this dude, he killed you, man. This man was a menace, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I give him, he, he might be closer to that, that right corner. I'm going to be honest. He's one of those crazy ones, man. This man was literally like, he, he was an endangerment to all sides around him. Like that type of energy. It was nutty. It was nutty. Yeah. I'm definitely thinking like, We'll save the top right, like the coveted top right yeah, corner for the one. end, that's and we'll be like, one. we'll be like, we'll decide like after we've talked about everyone, like who is who is that guy out of all the people here? Yeah, but like he's definitely like Sigma because like when he was about to fight Sasuke, he had like two people come up to him and was just like throw the match and instead of just like continuing walking, he just like instantly kills them. Chosen right? death, yeah. and like only only a Sigma could have that type of mindset, right? Yeah. So he's definitely. Like, pretty strong Black Force energy. Not necessarily too in your face, but, like, if you like if you cross his, his line of sight, like, he's, he's going to try to kill you, right? Yeah. So, definitely, he's a, he's a candidate for top right corner, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, let's go with... Do you want to go with, like, Toby the Persona? Oh my gosh! Let's talk about Toby, man. This dude, could, okay. this dude, this dude is only Skechers energy, bro. I don't even want to say Beta. <laughs> Yo, this dude don't even look like he into females, bro. Like the way he act, bro, you would swear <laughs> like he's asexual and he only likes to play with like Gundams or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, dude, this dude literally. Yo, you nobody. Well, what do you say, dude? Uh, like, have, have, if anybody's ever played the Storm games, have you seen how this dude runs? He runs funky. He's a funky <laughs> dude, bro. He is not like we're not. Listen, no, no. He's he's Skechers. This is full. Honestly, like he he might be straight. Like, listen, he he, he likes to run once. 
Sure. Literally, Datera, like the guy who was screaming at Sasuke for being too cool, was like, you got to be more cool like me. So it's like, no, to- Toby's <laughs> sketcher energy for sure. For sure. Like, I just like, this might be headcanon, but I just like to imagine like, that over the weeks that he's working with Datera, like he's just acting progressively more, yeah. more and more sus towards Datera, and Datera is like on the. V- That's probably why Datera is like so annoyed when he's ready to fight Sasuke, right? Yeah. Like, Toby's probably like nonstop <laughs> acting Not goofy happening. as hell. It's like acting sus as hell too. So definitely, like, I can. I think he's as beta as possible. Like, I think we can put him all the way to the left. Yeah. Are we? Are you like comfortable putting him like in the bottom left for right now, or what? We'll, we'll put him close. We'll put him close because okay. it is a persona. It isn't him, which is holding me back. <laughs> it's like if it was fully him, you know, I'd confidently do it. But like Obito's <laughs> playing this up, like he's doing it on purpose. So I say let's save it for like more of an actual character than just you know this persona can be close. But it's like, at the end of the day, you know, it is fake. It is fake. So I say let, look close, but not quite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go with um, pain now. Oh, like, man. actually, like, diva path. What are you thinking here? Oh, man. Oh, man. So this man, this, okay, this man, this man ran an entire village's fade, first and foremost. Let's talk about it. He ran his teacher's fade. He said, thank you for what you taught me. I'm going to send you out, you know, USPS, priority mail. Stamp it, you're gone. Two-day delivery, just like that. Send it to the bottom of the lake. This man took on an entire village, and it's not like he prepared. No, nah, he was just like, let's go capture the nine tails. Like, let's just go. Like, right now, we might as well, right? Like, we haven't got nothing to do. You got anything to do? Nah. Ran everybody's fade. He ran Hanzo's fade. Hanzo the salamander was clapping the three sonning. He, he ran all his fade. Killed all his relatives. This man was on everybody, bro. This man was speaking philosophy on, like, you would think he's Jordan Peterson from what he was saying. This man is crazy, bro. So, definite Sigma vibes. Black Force energy. I, listen, I don't think he's the most Sigma on this list, but I, I would definitely say, like, in terms of Black Force energy, he's got to be hitting the top. It's just this man, this man literally was running an entire village's fade. You don't just get more Black Force than that. You know what I'm saying? You just really don't. Yeah, I like how, like, basically when, like, Nakuta creates pain, he's just, like, he takes over the rain village, yet, like, literally no one knows, like, who he is, and he just refers to himself as, like, God. Yeah. Like, that's gotta be, like, a, a Sigma-type beat. Yeah. But even further, right, oh, like... he does do that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's, like, you gotta put respect on that. And then, like, in the Leaf Village, like, he basically, he shows up, he asks where the Nine Tails is, and then destroys everything refuses to elaborate yeah. and he was gonna he was gonna leave but then the nine tail showed up yeah so like if he had just if he had just like dipped if he was like okay i know where he is and just destroyed everything and dipped like that would have made him even more sigma than he already is right yeah so yeah he's definitely he's congregating towards that top right corner um yeah. and like I would say i'm feeling like he, he yeah close to that gara for sure yeah like, I'm feeling like he's more Sigma than he is Black Force, in my opinion. Okay, okay. Def- <laughs> like, with, like, like, with the philosophy and stuff, like, he's always, like, just in a normal conversation, he's always just trying to drop some type of knowledge bomb on Naruto and shit. Like, that's, that's something a Sigma would do. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, let's go with uh, Uchiha Massacre Itachi. Oh, my god. What do you think here? Oh my god, this man, <laughs> this man, this man's 13, what is he, 13, 14? This man's an adolescent child, and he's like, he's out here, he's murdering adults, he doesn't care, man, he's glicking everybody up, he's, he's having a field day, man, to be honest, and obviously it's not that, he didn't, it's not like he enjoyed it, but at the end of the day, you know, like Butter, he just kind of had to go through, put everybody on the chopping block, he, he was crazy, right, now, he did have a girl at the time, or, you know, a love interest, so that can't be ignored. You know, he did. He put her under Tsukiyomi in the novel. All that good stuff. However, this man literally had no... Qu- he was ready to fight his dad, man. His dad had a manga kill Sharingan, <laughs> and he's like, well, I guess I gotta fight him to the death. There's no other solution. He literally said... Yo, this... this he, pure Sigma. Pure Sigma. Maybe not pure Sigma. Very high up there, because actually Itachi is a pacifist. We do know this. Um, but he's on his grind, undercover. 
Black Force energy, pretty moderate as well. He's a, just a very comfortable character. I would argue he just gets progressively more savage the older he gets, to be honest with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll like, rank, like, uh, Koski Itachi, like, later on. But, like, I'm definitely feeling, like, he literally just, like, from the Uch most of the Uchiha's perspective, like, he literally just shows up in the middle of the night, kills you, and leaves. Yeah. Refuses to elaborate, right? Yeah. Like, most of these Uchiha's, like, they didn't even know like what was going on when they died so he's not like he's not in the he's not like too far right and too far up but he's kind of like in the middle of that yeah kind of like like quadrant yeah because um, he was crying it's... after into all that you know what i'm saying so yeah. yeah yeah like and he's he's got he was like i mean he was so sweet for his girl right like he put her under like a lifelong genjutsu like yeah. that's not that's not something a true sigma would ever do to be like honest. you wouldn't waste your energy on something like that yeah um let's see let's get away from the akatsuki a little um <laughs> let's do orochimaru oh my gosh uh, what is all right uh, you want me to do it? you got this i feel like you got this bro Let, let's see what you got uh, uh, like yeah i mean go ahead you go first uh, yeah, i'm kind of confused on him so here's my <laughs> orochimaru be sus bro that's my thing like and i said guy was <laughs> sus orochimaru like eating scrolls and stuff like that like he's doing all this weird stuff he's biting little boys <laughs> necks telling them to come to him for more power it's like what's going on man but then like he be on like he literally left the village to like learn every jutsu <laughs> He told Hiruzen, he literally stabbed his hand because he almost had a tear coming down. He's like, oh, I was going to yawn. So he's got Sigma energy. Like, he's he's on his grind. It's just like, he's also just, he'd be doing the mookest thing possible. Even when like, he'll, like, take over girls' bodies and stuff like that. And he'll start laughing and stuff like that. So definite Sigma energy. I definitely get some Skechers energy, too. It's like, I, I, get, I, I get Fruit Loops vibes from him. Even more than, he might be the closest per person to, like, the bottom of the sketchers list just because like man you would he, he'd be doing the most he really does but go ahead man oh man i don't even have like that much to say but it's just like like people talk about like they'll comment on my videos and they're like oh yeah richie maro knows like all chakra natures he knows all these jutsus but like all this man ever does in battle is fucking swallow stuff regurgitate stuff <laughs> and just generally just be like disgusting like that's like his whole like if there was like a scouting report on orochimaru and like yeah. the bingo book it's like just like sus disgusting ass person right but like Coming so he's definitely questionable like, substances you know what i'm saying like, just, not to speak on it but yeah. yeah like he's just and then like and the stuff with like sasuke and stuff like you don't have to be like so sus about it right like yeah. you can just like collect them but like he has to get like he has to give sasuke a hickey and shit like yeah. it's just not something it's not a black force thing to do he's very very strong sketchers like down there with like toby but in terms of like sigma like i mean he did kind of try he did assassinate like the kazai kage and the hokage yeah. just for like like he literally attacked the leaf village to like mess with heroism yeah. so like that's that's some strong Sigma shit going on there. I'll put him, like, kind of in the middle of the Sigma, but very strong Skechers type B. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, let's go with Donzo. What are you thinking here? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Donzo, man. So, the thing, <laughs> Donzo, Donzo, here's the thing about Donzo. He smells, first and foremost, how to say it. But Donzo <laughs> just gives me beta energy, man. Like, super... Super like like first and foremost, right? Like talking like like, like he, he, it's always trying to like be he's upset about heroes and he couldn't get the whole Kage C at all. L hold it first and foremost. <laughs> then like Pain's attacking the village and then like the Toad's like I gotta get Naruto. Don's was like oh now that Nine Tails won't be captured. Like bro what? Like he's <laughs> like I'm gonna take over the leaf. Super 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 beta energy. Like you really don't feel any bad for this dude, bro. I don't like. You, like you could maybe say, oh, he's in a, here. yeah, Sigma, Sigma. Maybe he's like, 
He's doing it for the village? Nah, bro, he's doing it for himself, bro. Literally, he stole eyes. He's feeling... Bro, he literally had all these disgusting eyeballs putting in his eyes, uh, his arm. It's like, uh, no, 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 no. Beta, Max, let, he might be the most beta person on this list. I'm going to be honest. He might. It might. It's, it's bad, bro. But what do you have to say on this? What do you have to say on this? <laughs> like... I think there's like a little bit more news nuance to Don's though, in my opinion. Obviously. So like, I do agree that like during like his whole career was ended. If we're being honest, when Toby Rama roasted him yeah. and then chose here's and as a guy, like he's literally like Toby Rama's like, okay, one of us is gonna have to take one for the team here, and Don's is like literally shaking, and Toby Rama's like, yeah, you're you're a bitch, right? Like you. Like you gotta, you gotta be ready to go when it's your time to go. And then he names uh, here's in his Okage, and then from that point onward, like Donzo is like the second in command in the shadows. Like that's real beta stuff, right? But then, like on the other hand, he's kind of like Sigma because, like, during the pain attack, he's just like, yeah, um, all, me and all my root, we're not gonna help anyone, right? And like, it doesn't even matter if like the whole village is destroyed. If there's no villagers, like I'm on my grind to become the Hokage, right? Yeah. So like, that's the only thing that's really pushing him towards the Sigma. But definitely, I'm leaning towards Beta. And in terms of like Black Force or Skechers, like very very strong Skechers type beat because yeah. like he literally tried he tried to run away from Sasuke, right? Yeah. And like you you owed him that fight. You owed him that fight, and he tried to run away. Yeah. So like. And he's generally pretty cowardly, so I would put him definitely bottom left quadrant, pretty yeah. strong. Yeah. In both uh, axes. Let's see. Um, let's go with Minato. What are you thinking here? Oh, man. Oh, man. So Minato, here's the thing about Minato. He's a soft guy. He's a soft guy. He does have some sketchy he's energy. <laughs> you got to start with the negatives. But the thing about this, this man's legacy, bro. Yo, you listen. You, first and foremost... Flee on site. You saw. You never. You're not seeing him. But if you do see him, you're gone. You're out. You're not coming back. You're not fighting him. This man. Everybody knew him. Literally, like what is it? Like 16 years after he dies. Like everybody's like, yeah, the yellow flash. We thought he was like the god of shinobi, like the the prophecy <laughs> child. Like everybody thought this guy. Now he does have a wife and kid. You know what I'm saying? Which does does detract from his sigma grind because you know he did interact with a female. Can't have that out here, no sir. But st I would say like. I would say his Black Force energy counters, counteracts his Skechers energy just based on, like, this dude just was that guy. He was that guy, man. Like, he, you were, his lore, everything about him, his technique, literally teleporting Yellow Flash. It, he's nutty. He's nutty. Literally running Obito's fade, the guy he thought was Madara. He's like, oh, this guy's Madara. I guess I got to fight him. Bink, boom. Like, it, it's, it, come on. You know what I'm saying? What, what's your stance on Minato? Uh, yeah, I think that Minato, like, the, like the from the second he saw Kashina, like he was already sweet, right? Yeah. And that's just not that's not what a Sigma would do, right? Like he married her young, had a child young, and like he cried, like he cried when she told him he w she was pregnant, and she cried when she gave birth. Like that's just like it's your fault, that's, bro. That's a you know it's, your <laughs> it's your fault, bro. What? <laughs> but continue. It's like yeah, that's definitely I'm leaning towards the beta side of things, but in terms of like Black Force stuff, like. He did ask, like, in the middle of the fight, like, okay, you can control the Nine Tails. Are you Madara? And then, it, like, it doesn't even phase him, right? Whereas everyone else in the ninja world, like, literally, like, shakes when they hear Madara's name, even. Yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. Even, like, even, like, when A and B try to run up on him in the war, he's just like, uh, yeah, I hear you pretty fast. And then he just, like, totally embarrasses A. Yeah. So, um, I'm thinking top left in terms of, like, Kind of strong beta, but like he's pretty. He's he's like in the area of Rock Lee, I guess. Yeah, maybe towards the right. Not as beta. Not as beta. He either. got his girl. He got his girl. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. He did take a W there. Respect. Respect. Res yeah, you gotta respect that. It's just like, but it's not like a Sigma thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. How are you feeling about Datera? Oh, Datera. Uh, we can skip that one, actually. Datera is kind of whatever. He's, he's like, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of impartial to him. Or I, I'll talk about him yeah. a little, because I already, I already drag him onto the screen. Yeah. I can't drag him off oh, now. Showing, but, showing. like, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> like, Dana, like, it's just, like, he's he's weird because, like, he has these chill states and then he has, like, these on-site states. Yeah. So, basically, like, when he's fight when he shows up to the uh, sand village, he's like, hmm, I wonder what this, like, Jim Cherokee is like. And then, like, he fights Gara, gets his arm ripped off, like, complains for, like, five seconds and then proceeds to threaten to blow up the entire village. Yeah. And then after he beats Gara, he's just, like, back to his chill state, right? Yeah. And even, like, and I guess, like, but then when, like, when he gets more towards, like, he starts pairing up with Toby Wright, and, like, all these sus jokes just keep building and building yeah. on him, that he's just, like, so aggravated, he's like, I'm gonna commit a hate crime, I'm gonna fucking kill, like, Sasuke just because he's a new Chia, right? Yeah. And so, like, that's, that's, like, we're thinking Sigma... But like um, he can't be near Sasuke. And he's got, Sasuke's Sigma energy yeah. intimidated him <laughs> to the point like he had to blow himself up. Like that's just that's it. Yeah, like that's the thing, right? Like he's kind of he's insecure about it. Like I'm thinking like he's got some Black Force energy, but it also he's like he's so insecure just by Sasuke s- s- pure Sigma ness that I'm thinking like he's in the top right quadrant, but like barely. Yeah, that's where I'll put him there. Um. Let's go with Toby Rama. What are you thinking here? Toby Rama. Toby Rama's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. My thing with Toby Rama, bro, is like, he, t- and everybody, you know, likes to call him, you know, the R word. I won't say it, God. You know, we need that monetization. But, you know, they like to, you know, say he likes to discriminate and all that. And, the, you know, he talks about it. The fact of the matter is, it isn't the Uchiha. And, you know, he did try to save Sasuke. He's got strong Sigma energy. You know, he's out here. He'll let his squad dip. He's like, I'm going to go, you know, fight these guys. Um, I'll sacrifice myself. You're the Hokage. Um, he's just, honestly, he's just got good um, Sigma energy. Um, in terms of Black Force, it's not really there, in my opinion. Like, he kind of just, he was like the second fiddle to Hashirama. And, like, that was it. Um, not like that was it. But, like, he was Izuna's rival, not Madara's. You know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of get this idea, like... He's never been that guy. He's just, like, one of those guys. So, you know, I, I don't know, man. And even the fact, like, he segregated the Uchiha, like, even though Hashirama, like, warned him not to, gives me a little bit of Skechers energy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you're kind of out, out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? You 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 place these policies, you know, you you set everybody up. So, solid Sigma for me, a uh, little bit of Skechers energy mixed in there. Yeah, I think Rama is, like, it was just kind of more towards the middle of the alignment chart, really. Like, yeah. he was, he like, even after Orochimaru summons him, he's like, dang, you kind of, like, <laughs> the Chia kind of had you acting up, didn't they? Because, like, he, he literally, like, knows everything about them and, like, kind of segregated them away from the village, right? So I'm thinking, like, like, he's in the bottom right quadrant, but, like, really close to the middle. Yeah. Let's do, um, do you have any strong feelings about Zabaza? Or no? Nah, uh, we can do that one, actually. We no. can do that one. Uh, I-, I can talk about it. Okay. Zabuza. Yeah. Zabuza is pretty, he's pretty black force. I can't lie. Like, he literally butchered <laughs> his whole class. He, he, you know, even, like, when the ritual wasn't, like, reinstated, like, of killing your classmate, he killed, like, his whole entire class. Um, and then, like, you know, Naruto's was like, <gasps> and then Gabuza was like, oh, man, those were the days, man. Those were the days. <laughs> and it's like, so, definite Black Force energy. energy. Um, he's a little beta, to be honest. You know, he was talking, the, the reason he's beta is not because, um, you know, maybe not beta is the right word, but, like, maybe Skechers more so than Black Force, just because... He was talking this whole ideology about being a demon, and then he fell back on it like the minute like this twelve year old child started <laughs> spitting words back at him. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's kind of hard. Um, I definitely put him like beta, like Black Force energy, just because he's a menace. But it's also like you know you kind of got your own ideology spat back in your face after one fight with a child that's never been in a fight before, really. Yeah, it's like he did. He did kind of talk all this crap about like how he's like a cold hearted killer. But once Haku died, like he was. He totally checked out of that fight. He was like crying and everything. Yeah. Like, that's not that's not Black Force type, and that's not even Sigma type either. So I put him like, he's in the bottom left quadrant, but like really close to the middle. Yeah. Kind of like kind of like Saburama. Yeah. Um, I think we should go back and talk about 
Kage summits Sasuke now. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> this guy, this guy. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go first on this. This man, first and foremost, right, he goes into the Kage summit like pr- wanting smoke. Like he hears Naruto be saying, <laughs> and he's like laughing about it. He's like, "Who cares about that? I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm gonna get a devious lick on a couple of these bodies over here." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Comes in, gets his position revealed, doesn't care. He talks to the samurai and look, he, he's like, listen, if you attack me, that's it. Just starts glicking it like one by one. And everybody's like, well, this is not the same man we knew before. Raikage pulls up. What does this man do on site? It's once. It's once. He's like, cool. But then we got the one scene everybody knows. One of the coldest scenes in Shippuden. He's on the ceiling with the Mizukage. <laughs> And the Tsuchikage, like, in the room, everybody's like, what's going... So is Donzo, and this man's just staring him down. Like, this, 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 this is one of those contenders, man. He's literally at this meeting for the sole reason of assassination and smoke. Like, and <laughs> on top of this, right, on top of this, he... Yo, his girl, the girl that had been on him, like, his healer, his teammate, quote-unquote, he glicked that chick, too, bro. He doesn't know what that is, bro. He's about his bag. So, Kage Summit is on some demon time, demon time. But what's your, what's your thoughts on him? Like, Kage Summit, like, people don't talk about, like, just how, like, much of a menace this man is. Like, he literally, he pulls up to the summit, right? And, like, like you said, like, he gets revealed and he's like, all right, I'm fighting whoever's coming in front of me because I'm, I'm killing Donzo. Like, this is just personal, right? So he's like, okay, let me just 1v1 the Rei Kage, right? One of the most feared shinobi in all, all of the ninja world. Yeah. Takes, he takes, um... He takes his arm and then he just shows up in front of like the rest of the Kage and it's just like, don't interfere. I'm just trying to fight Donzo, right? And he's like, he's like, whatever. If you want the smoke, like you can get it. Yeah. And like he does, like he he did run out of chakra, but like we're asking, we're asking too much of him just to one v one like everyone at the same time. Yeah. And then when he shows up, like he beats Donzo and then Donzo takes Karin as a hostage and like no hesitation, no remorse, like just kills Karin like. People are assets, right? Yeah. So definitely, and like even after like all that, Obito is like trying to tell him like, "Oh yeah, you're lo- you're losing your sight. Like we need to do this and that." And then Sasuke is like, "I'm not working with you." Like he's not even like even Obito is not even listening to him, right? Yeah. So definitely strong contender for the top right spot. And on top sure. of that, on top of that, he literally sees Sakura. Tries to get that out. He sees Kakashi. He's like, I need some. He's literally, he sees Sakura, Kakashi, and Naruto. He tries to run smoke with all of them after the fact. <laughs> His old teammates. So, yeah, strong, strong contender. Strong contender, to say the least. To say the least. You know, like, he literally, like, he's 1v1, like, every Kage in, like, the span of, like, an hour. Yeah. And then he's just, he's still, he's still ready to fight Naruto and Kakashi, right? And yeah. he's also, like, just totally disrespecting soccer and shit. Like, yeah, this man, he might just end up being that guy. Yeah, but we'll we'll get back to that. Um, about Kakazu, this is definitely a strong sigma. This right? is this man. This man's about his bread, bro. <laughs> He's trying to get his money up, not his funny up, man. You heard? It. Like he doesn't. This this man, yo, listen. Like I'm trying to find him on the tier list. This dude, this dude's like, like literally his only concern in this world is bag. So he's, in my opinion, he's got to be on the, like, might be honestly one of the closest people to the most right for Sigma. You don't listen, taking people's hearts. He's not even talking about none of that ninjutsu, none of that. Continuously, the only subject on his mind is this bread, this dinero. He wants it. He needs it. It is what it is. He's trying to, he's trying to get the penthouse in Dubai. So, you know, we got to we gotta look at it like that. And, you know, he's running smoke and all that. But come on, you know, this is, this is a strong Sigma right here. Yeah, like definitely like, and he's so Sigma, right? Like Sigmas, they don't care about how they get money, right? Yeah. Like he's literally... He's organizing the money for like a terrorist organization. Like he's literally like he sees Asuma. He's like instantly knows what his bounty is and is like, yeah. yeah, I'm taking your bounty. Same with like Kakashi, right? Like just totally, and like he's got some Black Force energy too, because like anyone that's gonna get in the way of him making money and shit, or like anyone that wants to fight him, he's ready to fight. Yeah, for sure. So like, he's 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 in the running for like most sigma and i i give him like a little bit of black forest agreed. energy as well agreed agreed i agree with that yeah um let's see 
Let's go with Jiraiya. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <I> mean, <laughs> this is Goofy Boy. Here's, here's the thing about Jiraiya. <laughs> the thing with Jiraiya is that he spent his whole life getting dumped. Is that not hilarious, bro? And it's like, look, I get that's the point of his character. And, like, you know, that's a great character trait. But the thing is, first and foremost, it couldn't be me, bro. It couldn't be us. I'm not doing that. Uh, look, it, I'm, I'm sure some guys are fine doing that. Jiraiya might be, like, one of the most beta people on this list. He was content being in the friend zone. For the entirety of his life. That's craziness. <laughs> That's crazy talk to me. And it's like, he might have some Black Force energy, you know, because he, he wants smoke a little bit. He's got confidence with it. But the beta is strong, man. The beta is very, very strong with Jiraiya, man. He he just, he's like the Naruto that never got it, man. It's, it's, it's sad to see, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, agree there. Because, like, but, like, the thing is, right, yeah. is that he's... He's he's he put in all the prog or like he didn't really put in progress, but he waited his turn. Yeah. And right before he goes on this suicide mission, he knows he can tap. Yeah. And yet he still goes on the mission. Like he spends all this time like hanging out with Tsunade, right? Like get down to business. This is what you've been. This is really what he's been working his whole That's life a towards. Positive. Not being like the, sh mm -hmm. not not being the shadow Hokage, right? Like he's really when it comes down to it. All he wanted was to tap Tsunade, and he blew it. Yeah. And he didn't even, like, he could have he escaped as well. He could have escaped from pain as well, but he blew it, like, literally twice, and I just can't. And, and to uh, add on to that, he's like, <laughs> writing erotic novels instead of trading. And he wonders why Orochimaru is, like, he couldn't stop him, bro. Like, this dude's grinding, like, every jutsu in existence, like, trying to get this new vessel, and you're out here writing these novels measuring Tsunade's like bus size and all this like come on man come on man <laughs> like he's he's literally so frustrated about it like his occupation is just him taking out yeah. his sexual frustrations there but so definitely like he's very far left like almost as far left as Toby honestly and maybe like a little bit of black force energy just yeah. like a little bit yeah um let's get back to Akatsuki Itachi. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Akatsuki Itachi, man. This dude, this dude was talking smack to everybody, bro. Literally. He he just he didn't care. He was talking smack to Kakashi. He was he was he listen, for, he pulls up in the hidden leaf first and foremost. Like forget forget part 2 and all that, right? Your introduction to him is him folding his little brother, him folding Kakashi everybody's like this guy's a menace this guy is arguably the strongest character in part one like craziness craziness he he's he's a menace you know literally glicking every he put kakashi he put kakashi and kakashi student in the hospital in like the same day come on come on man and then like you go into shippuden his clones like his 30 percent clones is folding like groups of shinobi they're going to <laughs> capture this dude they need like 12 different people they need like three squads he pulls up on sasuke right and he's still sitting in the chair for like three four like like half of the fight man he's like i can't even get up because like my legs are asleep bro this this is this is a menace bro this is a menace bro strong sigma strong sigma vibes you know undercover and all that i would say he's definitely surpassed his uh, uh uchiha like massacre counterpart with the Black Force, bro. He Now he has Black Force, but he's talking so much shit with it that it's just like, he's like, yeah, you know that Uchiha eye you have? Do you wonder why, like, you don't have the body to back it up? Craziness, man. Craziness. Like, I love, like, in part one, like, no one was, like, after the tuning exams are, like, no one's expecting Itachi just to show up randomly, right? Yeah. He literally, like, he kicks Kakashi's ass, and then when Sasuke shows up, like, there's just no mercy, right? Yeah. He doubles down, like, he like, he doubles down on the whole, like, kill me, like, get revenge narrative, and literally, like, breaks his arm, chokes him out, and just, like, you're never, you'll never have enough hate to kill me, and then proceeds to put him in a Tsukiyome of the massacre for 24 straight hours. He's literally, like, he puts Sasuke in a coma that's so bad that Tsunade... The goat medic. Like, they literally, like, Jiraiya had to go travel to get Tsunade to come back to the village just to save Kakashi and Sasuke. Because so they, they were probably just about to go night-night for the rest of their lives. Yeah. If we're being honest, right? And, like, and like in part two, like, he's he's kind of, like, more chill. I guess he's, like, dying and all. But definitely during his 
Sasuke fight. Like he's definitely strong Black Forest, strong Sigma type type of stuff. Definitely put him um just a little bit above uh thirteen year old Itachi, really. Yeah, yeah. Um Let's see. Let's do Killer B. Oh. What do you think here? This dude. Okay, so Killer B. Killer B kind of cool, man. The thing about let me let me. So the thing about Killer B, man, is that like, first and foremost, he's about his gains. You know, Naruto's Naruto's like fighting the Nine Tails. He's like to Yamato. He's like, man, you want to lift some weights? Like, what's the word, man? We try to get a pump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's doing his thing. This man. This man's about his side hustle. He's a rapper. You know, you didn't expect him to be a ninja <laughs> and a rapper. He pulls up, Sasuke's on him with a squad, folds him in the entire squad multiple times over. Nutty stuff, nutty stuff. He's he's rapping while he fights. It, there's something about that, like, a man stops fighting you and then proceeds to write bars right <laughs> after. That's craziness. That's insane to me, bro. Th- that's levels of disrespect I don't know if I can handle. And then, you know, in the war, like, he sees Tsunade, and this is what throws me off. He's like, he, he, get, he gets super flustered. He's like, Oh no, brother! And it's like, bro, you're about <laughs> your bag. You're going. You got the eight tails inside you, and you out here talking about. You see a pair of honka honkas, and you want to just you want to <laughs> fold. Like, so listen, he's got some black force energy, but I feel like B's very like he gives me like bait. Maybe not. I don't know how to describe it. Like he does give me a little bit of beta vibes because he'd be the type of dude to just fold up a little bit when the chicks around, and we've seen that. We've seen that like in the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, like, if we're just looking at, like, the B and Sasuke fight, like, he's definitely strong Sigma. Like, he's literally doesn't even care about fighting Sasuke, really. Like, he's riding his bars, and all his, like, anytime he talks in the series, like, he's rhyming. Like, yeah. he's on the grind to become the hottest SoundCloud rapper uh-huh. and shit like that, right? But, like, and, it's, and this happens in the war, too, like... And when they're fighting the Jinchuriki, and I think it's like the Two Tails Jinchuriki, like he's literally like fiending over her. Yeah. And they're yeah. fighting like like, like no, you yeah, are literally dead. fighting. <laughs> you're fighting for your life, and you're fighting for like the fate of the world. And this man is caught lacking, looking at her. I'm trying to get some coup. It's like man, we're we're, we're serious now. Nah, definitely, definitely beta vibes. Um, some strong Black Force for sure though. <sighs> Yeah, I'm. I'm still like, uh, I've put him more towards the sigma. It's just like he has these moments that really just blow that momentum, right? So yeah. like, yeah, that's the thing. I'm yeah. putting him like really high, but not not very far right, really. Yeah. Um. I think I think it's about time we talk about Madara. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> so like. The man, the myth, the legend. What are you feeling here? This man, this man woke up. Well, first and foremost, like talking about you know, this whole plan. He's trying to. This man's literal existence was built. Like he literally was built on running. Like asking for smoke from everybody, bro. <laughs> he asked smoke from Hashirama. He literally warring states. Period. He comes back, right? Like you know, as a kid, he's doing all this crazy stuff. He you know loses to Hashirama. He's like, oh, it'd be an honor. Then he, you know, reads the Chia tablet and he's like, I'm, I, I need the Leap Village in me. We're running once again because he didn't become Okage and all that, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> then he comes back as an Edo. He's literally like, let me test out this Jutsu. Let me test out this. Oh, my God. That's so interesting, man. He's talking the most <laughs> hot to everybody, bro. He's talking about the Kage. He doesn't discriminate. He's like, you're weak. Not because you're a woman because you got his blood in you. Craziness. Craziness. He, <laughs> yo, and this is the best scene that defines Madara for me. Because like, there's a lot to talk about with him. And I don't want to just talk about it all. He literally senses the one person who could actually give him like a chance at smoke. That being Hashirama. This man almost nutted himself, bro. He literally wanted smoke that badly. It's crazy. He's addicted to smoke. It's 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 kind of nutty. So, the Black Force energy on peak. There's just no way around. Literally, a force of nature. His name is power. What you? What do you say to that? What 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 else is there to discuss? You know what I mean? But go ahead. Like, just I don't even know where to start, man. Like he's right? literally like after he. After like after he loses to Hashirama, that's when he really was like, I'm going to become the most ultimate Sigma male, right? So he's literally like, okay, I'm going to go live in a cave for like 50-something years, right? And he's just waiting. He's waiting for like the right Uchiha to take, to take, the, take the lead here. And he's like, 
okay, Obito, you're going to take out my will. I'm going to literally die, right? And I'm going to come back to life. Even though, even though Obito was not planning on this, this man still comes back to life, right, as a, as a tensei. And he shows up on the battlefield, and he sees, like, a, an army. A whole army, like, thousands of shinobi. He's like, okay, I'm going to drop two meteors on you. I'm not going to explain why. I'm, and that's going to be it, right? And then he proceeds to just, like, totally toy with the five kage. And then as soon as, like... As soon as um, things aren't looking good for him, he's like, okay, I'm killing y'all immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's what he does, right? And, like, he even, like, it's so, like, the Black Force energy is so strong, right? Like, he's really the only two people that have killed Naruto and Sasuke. Yes. And, like, literally, the god god of Shinobi, Hagoromo, had to resurrect, or not really resurrect them, right? But he kind of intervened so that he could, act, so they could actually, like, have a chance against them, right? Yeah. Like, this man is, like transcending the anime almost in terms of like how much black force energy he has but also like all he cares about really is just the his infinite infinite uh Tsukiyome yeah. plan which would yeah. basically yeah which would basically put him as like the last man on earth which is just that just feels sigma to me yeah so yeah. i'm definitely putting him right next to the top right corner it's definitely got a strong case to get that coveted top right spot yeah for sure, I I agree. It's just <laughs> like, like what what do you what do you say, man? Like what else is there? <laughs> like it's just, you see this man and it's just constant like ones. He's sitting here like he looks at Hashirama. He's like, nah, clones are no fun. I need you to bring out the real deal right now. You know what I'm saying? Like a rabid dog. He's a rabid dog for smoke. That's the best way to describe Madara, to be honest. Like he like in like in the eight gates fight, right? Like everyone's like holy shit this is happening and Madara is meanwhile Madara is like hyped out of his mind and keeps he's like egging on guy too like a fucking madman yeah like this man is this man transcends the series if we're being honest yeah. but um let's uh not too many more here um let's see I think there's some Akatsuki members uh Kisame how you feel about Kisame oh Kisame um that's an interesting one I, I definitely um pretty 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 black force. He doesn't really give me sketchers or beta vibes. Um, you know. He doesn't he doesn't really talk about that that stuff. Actually he's pretty Sigma because he killed his comrades. This let me tell you how Sigma this man is actually. Let me get on my pen and paper for y'all. His this girl comes up to him after the mission talking about we should go get lunch. He's like, What are you talking about? That's that's not he doesn't hear Sigma talk. That's not Sigma talk, you know what I'm saying? She's talking about that, that, all that, that stupid shit, if I'm being honest. And what does he do? He <laughs> glicks the squad who is talking all that mess. She's like, what are you doing? He glicks her because, you know, that would not be Sigma of him. He doesn't realize that. Now, you know, so it, it's pretty it's pretty Sigma stuff, pretty Black Force too. You know, he's got the, the Samehara. He's like, he's, he's running it with everybody. Um, honestly, just a strong Sigma male, I feel like. He's just got a very good showing. Um. Very, very, yeah, that's, that's where I'll put him, you know, just, that's my little thing on him. <laughs> yeah, and, like, when he, when he shows up to fight B, like, anytime he's, like, trying to capture Jinchuriki, like, he's the happiest, right? Like, he shows up to fight B, and he's like, hi, I'm Kisame Hoshigage, it's, it's nice to meet you, I'm gonna capture you. And then proceeds to, like, just totally embarrass B, who embarrassed Sasuke, right? Yeah. And, like... He's not, like, super in your face about it, but he's definitely, he wants smoke. Like, anytime we see him with any type of opponent, he makes it clear he's, he's, he wants to smoke, right? So I put him as, like, there's stiff, it's starting to get stiff competition, yeah. but, like, definitely, like, middle, middle Sigma and, like, a weak uh, Black Force energy, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Um, let's go with Obito. Oh, like war, like unmasked, unmasked war arc Obito. Oh man, so this is this is <laughs> this is this is this is a topic, man. So I mean, I'm I'm gonna save the long run. Okay, okay, this is this is a weird one, right? Because like you gotta get into like Obito's character, right? And like he's like you know you. I started the war because of Rin, which we know wasn't true. She was just the trigger, more of a representation of like. <laughs> that era in his life and the happiness and without that represent like you know when, when that representation was taken away that showed the true nature of the world and all that but 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 with a capital b 
This man, and you know, listen, he's got, listen, strong Sigma, strong Black Force energy. However, here's the problem with him. He wins, you know, does his thing. And what does he do after, you know, he passes on to the afterlife? He's chilling with a 12-year-old Rin. It's like, bro, bro, <laughs> what are you doing? She's 12, bro. You're, you're a grown-ass man. And, I, you know, again, not, not to, like, you know, make joke because Obito's a fantastic character. But to be honest, you know, it, it's pretty sus. And even, like, yo, he's got the ten tails, right? And then he whips out his sword of Nonoboku that he got off Amazon. And what happens? <laughs> he folds because his willpower weakened. So his Sigma energy was dying out as the, pro the fight progressed. It's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of crazy, man. He gets less sigma as the fight goes on. But what, what do you gotta say on this? <laughs> like I would say, like I know people meme on him, and I think like he's a well-run character and all. But he's just like he's so memeable, and yeah. I don't like. It's just it's kind of weird. Like with the rain stuff, like he'll start to act like this is like a whole self-righteous. Let's let's end all suffering, and then he goes back to like like when he gets on mass, he's like. I started this war because of Reen. When he loses the ten tails, he's like, where did I go wrong, Reen? And then, like, when he dies, like, he goes... <sighs> he's with the 12-year-old Reen, but he's he's 12, but he's not really 12. Like, this is, like... Oh, yeah. This is tough, right? But, like, with the Sigma stuff, like, for, like, 20 years of his life, he's just, like, totally dedicated to, like, let's just uh, end all free will, right? So, like, I don't even know with him... Like, Obito, just in general, is just a character that confuses the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> depending on your interpretation, it could go uh, a lot of different ways on this list. Uh, I, I think I think you could make an argument he could be in the middle, man. Like, he could really go anywhere, um, to be honest. He could, like, he, he's one of those characters, like, you could really flesh out. Um, I would say maybe, like, that's tough. This is a tough one. This is tough. Oh, I'm <laughs> struggling. I'm struggling. I mean, look, he's got Black Force energy, obviously. I mean, at this, I would honestly say he's, he's, this is the least amount of Black Force energy he has because when he's masked, he's a lot more, like, crazy and doing a lot crazier stuff, honestly. <laughs> um, maybe, like, oh my, I don't know, man. Maybe just, like, a little Skechers energy. I don't know. This is tough. Um, I'm honestly, I'm just gonna put him in the dead center. Yeah, yeah, that's the best. He idea. doesn't, he doesn't belong anywhere. Yeah. Like he's just like, if I could put four Obitos on this list, I would spread them out evenly. Exactly. Like a, exactly. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's let's just go with part two Naruto. Oh, we have not talked about Naruto. Like beginning of Shippuden, we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, then. let's go with let's go with that. So this Naruto man, he's uh he's questionable. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna <laughs> keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it straight. First and foremost, right, we're gonna look at his counterpart Sasuke, who's been on his grind. Naruto's been doing none of that. Like he's been training, sure, but yeah, he made an Odama Rasengan. Compare that to like Sasuke, what Sasuke's accomplished. It's like night and day. He gets back and he's like, I'm gonna show you the sexy jutsu. So already sketch his energy. <laughs> already sketch his energy. <laughs> And then he's out here fixated on Sasuke. Like, bro, be fixated on your bag. What are you talking about? And I get it. Look, I get it. Like, if he can't save Sasuke, he's not worthy to become Okage. It's a character thing. You know, I understand the nuances of these characters. And, you know, what? it's, like, not the surface level. I understand all of that. But at the same time, at the same time, dude, it's like if this other, like, 15, 16-year-old can accomplish this, Naruto's on the other end of the spectrum. I'll be honest. He's definitely got Skechers energy. Um, maybe, you know, j just generally, like, may may honestly, a little beta in Skechers energies. He's not really that, like, <laughs> like, Naruto doesn't really strike me as, like, you know, Itachi describes it best. He's the one that comes in and barks first. Like, that's really it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, like, he's, like, he wants smoke, but he's, like, insecure about it, too. Like, he literally, just at the sight of Sasuke, like, Sasuke just says, like, hey and then naruto goes on this long rant and just like ends up crying about it and ends up just getting wrecked by sasuke yeah and even further than that like i'm not seeing him as a sigma right because there's all these signs that sakura is like likes him and is kind of flirting with him yeah and he's just uh, he's oblivious most of the time and then he ends up just embarrassing himself and ruining all the progress he's made yeah. like literally sakura is still fiending over sasuke even after he like left for three years, yeah, yeah. like like can't even control herself. And Naruto, 
he's got this is the perfect opportunity for him, and he's just he's drop he's not securing the bag here. Yeah. So like, I'm thinking um, bottom left quadrant, but not like not too far down there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's Let's fair. see. Um, let's do Kabuto, like part, like part one, part two, Kabuto. Oh man, Kabuto. <laughs> oh man, this guy. Oh, Kabuto. Kabuto gives me some uh, beta energy, I'm gonna be honest. So, Kabuto, like, he be, he talks a lot, he talks a lot, but the problem is, <laughs> he just thirsts so much over Orochimaru, and even Orochimaru is like, yeah, unlike Kabuto, like, and this is the reason, like, Orochimaru messes with Sasuke is because, like, Sasuke didn't try to be like me. He's doing his own thing, getting his own bag. This dude, Kabuto, now nah, let's keep it a buck. He's kind of sus, bro. He's putting Orochimaru's <laughs> bodily blood in his system. He's, like, butt naked on the counter, like, got a drape over him. He's like, it's not enough. What? What's not enough? What are you talking about? And then, like, part one, like, he's acting smug. He's like, oh, yeah. You know, like Naruto, you know, you don't really understand people. You don't understand me. You understand? Like, <laughs> shut up, bro. Is anybody like, you know, the, Kabuto is like annoying, man. Like, not, not, very, very beta vibes from Kabuto. Um, and the minute Sasuke glicked Orochimaru, that becomes very apparent. He has no idea what to do. So that, that's my, no identity of his own. I'll say that. Yeah, like, I, I don't even have that much to say about him. Like, he did, he caught, like, a massive L when Naruto beat him, like, in part one and stuff. And he's just generally, like, he doesn't act sus, but, like, there's just, like, this general, general feeling about him. Like, just, like, like the way he talks is, like, mannerisms and stuff. Like, he's a questionable individual, if we're being honest. And he's, yeah. like, we know how, he probably wants Orochimaru so bad, but he's not... He's not getting anywhere with that because Orochimaru wants Sasuke. It's a weird love triangle, right? Yeah. Um, so, like, strong, far left beta, very strong Skechers as well. He's he's in the running for, like, bottom left corner, being honest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I feel like not, not really too many more people... What about Hashirama? What about Hashirama? Yeah. Got yeah, like, at, at this point, I think I've, like, I've kind of spoken on everyone, so at this point, just, like, oops, I accidentally picked Gara. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just, like, if you see someone, go ahead and, like, talk about it, honestly. Yeah. I only want to do a couple more, if anything. But. Yeah. Hashirama's actually got, like, insane, like, the thing about Hashirama is that he's got super Skechers energy. Um. Uh, Super nice guy. Don't get me wrong. Like, insanely nice guy. Um, definite Sigma. Definite... Nah, maybe not. He has a wife and kids. Hashirama might be on the bottom <laughs> left. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? He's, he, he's got wife and kids. He's out here letting, like, his younger brother talk this hot mess to him. Yeah, man. And he even let Madara was talking a lot of hot to him. He, like... He, like, didn't kill Madara, even though he could have for, like, the longest time. Like, it's it's just definitely bottom left vibes from uh, 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 Hashirama. Um, he's got wife and kids. You don't see ha you don't see Madara just going around. Nah, this dude Hashirama. Hashirama letting his jeans get stolen. Like, yeah, nah, definite, definite beta <laughs> sketches vibes from Hashirama. Yeah, we're kind of going to feel the same. Like, he's so strong, but he's just, like, mentally, mentally not really that strong. I put him like kind of in the middle of that uh bottom left quadrant really. Yeah. Yeah. Um anyone else you wanna talk about? Let me choose one more. How much I got I got this. Yeah. Let's talk about Choji real quick. I got I gotta get this one out. I gotta get like we can do <laughs> All right. We can do we can do let's do part one Choji, bro. I gotta do it. I'm sorry, I have to. I apologize. Part one Choji, man. This dude, Joji, is the most, like, Snickers, Skechers person ever, bro. Literally always got food in his mouth. Not worried about anything. Yo, he might be contender for bottom left, bro. And this is specifically, like, beginning of part one Choji. Like, not the Choji that, like, is, like, taking the pill. Nah, this dude is soft, bro. He a marshmallow. You know, that's a character arc. But it doesn't change the fact that he's super, super fubu. You know what I'm saying? So, Cho Choji's, Choji's also a contender for that bottom left, in my opinion. Yeah, and just, like, and I know this didn't happen in part one, but, like, even with, like, and he's trying to fight, um, 
what Asuma in the war, and he won't even punch him, even though he's like a like a Edo Tensei. Like that's just you're in, you're in a war over the world, right? Like this is just soft beta vibes. He doesn't he doesn't really like fighting at all. So like you could almost put him like as far as far as far as low as you want. Probably pretty strong beta too. Yeah. But um, I guess um, we can kind of work on like. Let's start with um the bottom left quadrant. Like, how do you want to like, who's taking the worst position here? Who are you thinking? It might be Choji. It really might be Choji. I think it might be. <laughs> I, that's kind of why I said it. I can't lie. I was kind of like, yo, this is the one, bro, in my mind. But yeah, <laughs> this is this is the one. Yeah, I'm thinking more like. Mm, Him, I guess like him or like Obi or uh, Toby. It, it, it's one of those. Two, you know? <laughs> yeah, Kabuto's strong. But I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kabuto is like solid, but not. He's not in the running for like worse. Um, Cheji. It, it's like like you said earlier with like how Toby. Like Toby's like a meme, right? He's a persona. So I think um, you kind of got to respect that and not give him the bottom left quadrant, or like the bottom left spot. I'll give that to Choji. Yeah. And then let's go with, um, let's just go with, like, the bottom right. Just, like, not necessarily who's in the bottom right spot. Or, like, who do you think is the most Sigma out of, like, Kakashi, uh, Guy, and Orochimaru? Uh, oh, you mean Skechers? Or, or like, or, uh, or, um... In terms of, in terms of Sigma. In terms oh, of Sigma. I, I would definitely, um... I, it might be Orochimaru just because, like, God, Kakashi be holding... He be reading them novels, bro. It be it be messing me up. And he's out here blushing and stuff like that. It's like, I think it's Orochimaru, in my opinion. I'd give it to him. It's like they... None of them are, like, pure Sigmas, right? Like, they've got some, like, kind of beta qualities. I don't even... Exactly. Exactly. It's just not... I feel like... Kakashi... I feel like Kakashi and Guy are, like, a tie... Yeah. But, like, the thing with, like, Orochimaru is, like, he's too sus around Sasuke. So I'm going to put, like, like Kakashi and Guy as a tie-in. I'm going to put Orochimaru, like, just to the left of them. Um, now, for the top right, I don't know about you, but, like, this is, like, really cluttered for me. So yeah, who do you think like, is taking... Yeah. <laughs> who, who do you think is taking the, that top right spot? And, like, who are, like, the runner-ups? So, so I think top right... Honestly, I think it's Madara. Um, it's just like he's literally five Kage Summit on steroids, like, and it's like <laughs> in every aspect of the matter. Um, it, if Madara wasn't on this list, I think Sasuke would be the runner up. But it's just kind of the fact of the matter. Like Madara is on this list, and he just he's just doing his thing. Um, Kage Summit's a close contender. Like, like if I could put him like right under him, um, I would. Um, if anything, maybe just a little less, uh, uh, maybe a little less Sigma because he's getting a little emotional about family and stuff like that. Whereas Madara's like <laughs> vision is clairvoyant. Um, so I would say that, but th- yo, Madara's just got it. There's just no, there, it's, it's come on, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and like, we got to give some like seniority here. Like Sasuke was just feeling like this for like one arc, but like Madara was like waiting like half of his lifetime for just to like bring all the smoke in the world right yeah and sasuke was more like you can come to me and fight but mato was taking the fight everyone else so like yeah mato is just like the evolution of uh five kage summit sasuke yeah. um i guess um yeah i think that's really good in general like we got like a unless you want to put like a third place or anything um I think that's pretty much it. Maybe like, well, third place. I can't lie. The only one I would put third place would be like Mast Obito, but he's not on this list. But that 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 would be like my candidate for anybody who's not on this list. Otherwise, I feel like like you know Gara and uh, Pain are pretty debatable. Maybe Pain above Gara, um, for like closer closer candidate. Um, but I would keep those three as the top three, like in terms of like these the the, the category of who has the most black uh, Air Force energy. And who who is the most Sigma male? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I think that kind of wraps it up. Like, just, you know, this is this is our list. It's not super serious. Um, me and TG have done, like, a, several videos in the past. So, like, just check those out. Yeah. Now, nah, this list is pretty objective, so you know what I'm saying? Please let me know down below and let New Horizons know, like, uh, 
exactly what we did wrong joking bro like if you do that you're weird <laughs> to be honest but that's really <laughs> it thank you for having me on the channel um and that yeah i think we can uh yeah that's really it we got outro the video